29 forecast. The next big thing I'm tracking for the weather center will be some localized severe weather. Hello, I'm Storm Team 29 meteorologist Josh Fitzpatrick. A couple of rounds of showers, downpours and thunderstorms this morning, followed by a break and then another risk this evening and any storm could pack a punch. Right now, NBC 29's live Doppler radar network is showing mostly quiet conditions over central Virginia and the Shenandoah Valley. Just a passing sprinkle, drizzle, or a little shower going on in the short term outlook. But we've had a couple of showers overnight, so the ground has been dampened. But there's a growing area of showers, downpours, and thunderstorms to our southwest. And since it's going to fall on already very wet ground, the National Weather Service has now gone ahead and issued a flood watch, mostly from 8 o'clock this morning through 8 p.m. Uh, for the or Friday for localized high water. So watch those flood prone areas closely. There's also a severe weather aspect with this. I'm tracking a tornado warn thunderstorm. It is now moving north of Martinsville. That is a tornado warning from the National Weather Service. Doppler indicated for that storm and is pointed northeast bound. So we're going to have to watch this supercell thunderstorm rotating storm as it moves northeast bound over the next few hours. So keep checking back here this morning for updates all morning long for sure. So there's the first batch of rain moving across the Appalachians, followed by that break. And then here's the second round that will come in here this evening. So an active weather day ahead. Any of those storms could produce some damaging wind gusts, some spotty hail. Yes, a quick spin up tornado cannot be completely ruled out with these thunderstorms this morning, also for this evening, and also that localized high water risk. Our high res weather tracker is showing between now and uh, 5, 6 a.m. Not a whole lot going on, but then as we go towards the uh, let's say 7, 8, 9, 10 a.m. southwest to the northeast. There's that band of showers, downpours, and thunderstorms, followed by that break early to mid afternoon. There's 4 p.m., not a whole lot going on. On towards sunset, another round of showers and thunderstorms, locally severe weather as possible, and then that will begin to shift away overnight. Half inch, inch and a half of rain on average, locally higher amounts. It's possible if you get some multiple downpours over the next, say, 12 hours or so, but the weather pattern will improve this weekend. Slight shower chance tomorrow. I think most areas stay dry Sunday and Memorial Day Monday look dry with a warming trend pushing 90 degrees on Monday afternoon today this Friday in your storm team 29 report showers thunderstorms this morning followed by a break another round this evening breezy conditions with highs in the low to mid 70s for this evening showers and thunderstorms scattered across the area they'll exit after say 9 10 p.m. off to the east overnight lows will be in the 50s tomorrow not a bad weather day at all a blend of some sunshine a few clouds and a couple of those clouds may produce a little shower i think most areas stay on the dry side with highs in the upper 70s and the lower 80s seven day forecast improving conditions for the holiday weekend low 50s at night 80s on Sunday, dry skies, low relative humidity, but it will turn hotter, but still dry Monday on Memorial Day, low 90s Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. And with the heat and humidity returning on Thursday, another chance for an isolated storm.